Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about the basics of solar energy. This topic will go over the basics of solar energy and the related questions regarding it. The first thing that we must understand is basically how did the whole crisis and the elevation of this concept started. For that, we must look at the energy crisis issue. Now, these are rough estimates. In 2018, we can see that this energy crisis was not a national issue, but it became a global issue, where we could see that many countries were suffering from it. Now, what were they suffering? Basically, there were industrial development, there were overpopulation, overconsumption of energy, and then the wastage of energy resources. And by wastage of energy resources is what I mean by uh, saying that, say you leave your computer charged for a couple of hours, even though you might not be using your computer. So that is the wastage of energy that has been increasing throughout the span as the year time goes by. And apart from that, the major reason why this is a big concern and it comes under the energy crisis is because we use non-renewable energy resources to generate the power. Now, non-renewable energy resources are considered resources such as oil, coal, and gas. So these three types of um, elements might or could be used in order to produce the amount of energy that might be required as a demand to meet the supply by your electric utility. So they do this kind of practices in order to meet the demand with the supply. However, these practices are not very good for our environment. So in 2020, we come across the energy crisis and we come up with the solution that, hey, rather than using oil, coal and gas, we can use natural resources such as uh, wind, wind energy, windmills, uh, solar panels, things like that, whichever comes under renewable energy resources, and then use that energy uh, that generated energy to help meet the demand. In that way, we are much more safer and cleaner when we are generating, generating the electricity. Now, next is the solar power. So you can see that we have a solar panel in front of us. There's a sun that's giving the sunlight to the panels. Now, the energy that we obtain from the sun is in the form of light and other electromagnetic waves. And why is that important? And why do we want to go in this direction? It's because there is abundant source of energy in our planet, meaning that sun will always come in the day and give this kind of radiance to the panels if they're placed in a proper place. There is no shortage. Sun does not go like, I won't be coming today or day after tomorrow. So we need to utilize this amount of sources of different type of sources of energy and combine them and utilize them in harnessing the energy. Now the process of producing energy from solar absolutely creates no waste, no emission and no combustion, which is the green way to live. All right, moving to how do you actually harness the solar energy? Now, solar energy can be converted into electrical and then we call it solar power, right? However, what's actually going on when we are harnessing solar energy is that photovoltaics um, are actually converting that electromagnetic waves or that sunlight, which you might say, into the electricity. Now, we can directly convert the sunlight into electricity with help of photoelectric effect. What that does is basically it absorbs the photons, the tiny light particles that interact with the solar panels, and then it releases their energy and then the emission of electrons takes place. This basically the whole process is known as solar power system. All right. Now, if you didn't understand, this is a more proper um, uh, way to look at it. So obviously, to generate and harness the energy, we need more components than just solar panels. And components can be like solar panels, solar charge controllers, DC to AC inverters, disconnecting switches, 
and the meters because meter would tell us how much do we need and how much do we need to generate or how much is it generating so these are all components that play into part of harnessing the energy from the sun rays all right now let's look at the application part of the solar energy first of all you can use this solar not just in industrial but also here for your residential appliances so that comes out to be your home slash office appliances and these are most uh, mostly towards your domestic purposes so one of them would be where you would cook food you would harness your energy for your solar or your AC fans or something and then you would need lights to power on your house so you can use solar lights for that now just so you get the graphic idea I've listed all the three um, pictures so one is your solar fan you can just put this uh, panel solar panel outside and you can use your solar fan inside the house without uh, consuming any electricity from your utility another image is you you must have seen this often in your highways or roadways usually under the lamp they have placed a solar light so basically this lamp is not actually utilizing the energy by the utilities but it's actually utilizing or harnessing the solar lights that's falling on this plates over here and one of the common projects that uh, middle school and high schoolers do during their school time would be to build a solar cooker where they would uh, use it to make popcorn or make marshmallow or whatever so these are the application at the basic level now efficiency plays a big part into um, harnessing energy because how do I know at what point in the day do I harness most amount of energy and at what point in the day do I harness the least amount of energy so this efficiency constant and acts as a variable now this variable obviously depends on some things and there are three things that it can be um, shattered down into number one is your climate condition meaning whether it's more sunny is it rainy or is it dark today and by dark I mean is your Sun uh, surrounded by clouds so usually even though it's sunny but you're not getting that Sun on your solar so that does affect um, the output for solar second is your positioning usually it's towards your westwards you get the most amount of radiance and the more amount of radiance you get the higher efficiency of your solar panel is third your solar panel needs maintenance as well so using this maintenance what do I mean if you go back to the solar plates over here usually what happens is that this plates over here as they look shiny the more shiny it is it generates more electricity using the whole photovoltaic process however as years go by this plates become dusty depending on what area you live in or even muddy depending on which place you live in or where, it, where your solar panels are kept so depending on those scenarios your efficiency may affect now one of the good ways in order to have or save your cost on maintenance for solar panels would be to have a rainy day on a rainy day usually your solar panels would be cleaned away from all the dust dirt that there might be laying over all these panels and therefore your plates are now clean and it can start to give out more power having the higher efficiency so this is the basic overview of what is solar why do we need it what factors affect it and how can we harness it and what are some practical applications I hope you like this video it's a short tutorial so I teach this in under 10 minutes and I hope you have a better idea about um, solar before what you started this video for thanks for watching have a good day